In this video, we will drive the conservation of energy equation. We will use Reynolds transport theorem. I have explained the derivation and application of Reynolds transport theorem in my previous video. The link is provided in the description. The Reynolds transport theorem provides a relationship between the, pro the change in the properties of a system to the change in the property of a control volume. So it provides a link between a system and control volume. For the derivation of energy equation, we will replace this capital B, which is a property of a system by E, which is energy, and small b with small e, where small e is energy per unit mass e is small e is the sum of internal energy kinetic energy and potential energy per unit mass after this replacement we will get the energy equation in this form so we have this energy equation in which the energy change in the energy of a system is due to the amount of heat transfer rate q dot net which is due to the heating of a system or cooling of a system then the change in the energy of a system with respect to time could be due to the uh, rate of doing work due to shaft this shaft can be a uh, pump shaft or an turbine shaft with the help of pump shaft we uh, provide the work inside to the system and with the help of turbine shaft we take the work out of the system then the rate of doing work due to pressure uh, if we add the pressure to uh, inside the system uh, uh, then the uh, energy of the system is increased with time and if we decrease the pressure the rate of doing pressure work is decreased for the system so these are the three terms that can increase or decrease the energy of a system on the right side of the equation we have two uh, integrals the first one is the volume integral in which the change in the energy inside the control volume with respect to time is represented and the second term on the right side is representing the flow of energy from an inlet or outlet due to mass flow so E times this term the remaining term is the mass flow rate now we will define the rate of doing work due to pressure force rate of doing work is called power and power is equal to force time the velocity if we multiply pressure with the area this is this will be the force and this force if multiplied with the velocity velocity is v dot n that means velocity in the n direction so velocity in the n direction if we take the product of velocity vector v and n vector we will get the velocity in the normal direction in which the pressure force is acting so we'll get the velocity in normal to the area and we can uh, multiply this pressure with rho and divide it as well it will not uh, affect our equation then in the next step we will substitute this uh, expression for rate of doing work for by pressure force back into this energy equation and 
we will combine these two area integrals here this this is an area integral and this is also an area integral we can combine them we can combine these two because they have the similar terms rho v n delta a is common between them so we can write the energy equation in this form so we have uh, the energy equation in this form in which uh, if we replace vr with v so it this equation will stands for a fixed control volume we can uh, also represent this equation in the terms of average velocities and mass flow rates because uh, sometimes it get very difficult to evaluate these volume integrals or surface integrals so uh, we can uh, use the definition of mass flow rate we know that mass flow rate is rho v dot n delta a v uh, v dot n is the velocity in the uh, normal direction normal to the inlet phase or outlet phase so uh, we will uh, replace rho v n delta a with m dot and summation sign uh, here is for multiple uh, outlets and multiple inlets in the system and uh, by expand we can expand this equation by uh, uh, that we know that that e is equal to u internal energy v square over 2 kinetic energy and g z is the potential energy we can also write our uh, energy equation in the form of enthalpy we, we, we can use the definition of enthalpy enthalpy is equal to u plus rho uh, pv p is pressure and is it is also equal to u plus p over rho so we can write the energy equation in terms of enthalpy uh, for steady flows uh, this uh, time derivative uh, will be equal to zero because we know that in the steady flows the properties of a system or control volume do not change with respect to time so this term will be eliminated when we are solving a steady flow problem